Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about vital sex and tantric sex and the topic for this video is mono duo poly tantric sessions. So mono refers to being alone. Duo means being two people, right? You and a partner. And poly means being within a group context. So when you engage into tantric sex exploration of vital sex practices, you can be in any of those possibilities. I'm going to dive a little bit in uh, those different distinctions so that you understand the different variations that you can have. When you engage into mono tantric sex sessions, this can mean self-pleasure. It can, can mean self-exploration. Another term for it is solo exploration. And it doesn't necessarily mean uh, having genital touch. You know, all sorts of practices can be solo explorations that have nothing to do with directly sexually activating your genitals. But for instance, imagine that you are exploring a path of ejaculation mastery. Of course, having some practice, some solo practice where you test a little bit your limit, you try to experiment with reaching the, the breaking point where uh, ejaculation happens and you explore that by yourself rather than with a partner is going to be extremely useful. So this, uh, this is one, one possibility, but another one is to engage into softer sensual exploration. For instance, you can use learn how to massage your own body using oils and sensuality and really explore the different sensations. You can also start activating your different chakras, you know, massaging your, your third eye while there is a little bit of uh, sexual stimulation. You can engage in various forms of breathing techniques. You can engage into orgasmic sounds and uh, you can engage in other forms of, uh, of, of play, like for instance, deciding to be naked or uh, dancing naked or being in nature and uh, having a little bit of uh, sexual stimulation in the context, you know, for instance, in, in a river or by the ocean and uh, really exploring these different levels of, uh, of pleasure when nobody else is involved. It is sacred, okay? Let's put that within the context. This is your pleasure, it's your body, it's your sexual energy. We put that within a context of total sacredness, within the context of it is your pleasure, it is your body, it is your right to explore that as a human being. So we will check in another video, you know, the ways of removing shame and guilt around all that. See, I'm talking to you about things that very often are taboo in society. So get used to the idea of, you know, integrating that into your life rather than letting society of suppression put a lead on uh, this expression of your own joy and beauty. The um, second expression is, of course, when you are in a couple situation with your lover. So those are dual explorations and uh, this is probably the most common form of sexual exploration that you will be engaging into that's unless you are single and you have no partner right now um, so when you engage into do exploration of course there is a, a direct connection with your lover and uh, and your partner and we have lots of possible rituals and practices and techniques to explore all that when we engage into poly exploration of poly tantric sex sessions. Again, it doesn't mean that uh, this is going to be group sex, group sex where everybody's having intercourse with everybody. This might be the fantasy that you have in your mind <laughs> and that's fine. But most of the times, you know, it's going to be something that looks a little bit different. It can be, for instance, a circle of men in the center surrounded by a circle of women and we keep shifting partner while making eye contact or while breathing together, or while having uh, a short one minute conversation about a specific aspect of the sexual exploration. Uh, another possibility would be to, to have a big uh, space where we are dancing together and uh, establishing sensual contact with different, different partners. You could also be in a context where it's polarized on just one person, but other couples are present in, in the scene. 
You can have rituals that involve uh, sensuality and touch. You can have rituals that involve just words and dedication, invocations. You can have rituals that become extremely sexual. It means that there is really uh, intercourse and uh, sexual exchange or some rituals that might be way softer where everybody, uh, nobody is naked and there is no genital touch. It's just energetic activation, sensual activation, sometimes some light sensual activation. Sometimes we enter into more sexual practices without physical contact. It means that you can really start activating your, your Kundalini fire, your sexual energy without even touching another partner. So it's a wide, wide range of possibilities. Usually when we think of sex in society, uh, most of the times the images that come to mind is two people having intercourse. And if we say, uh, the, if we use the term group sex, most of the times you will see <laughs> the scene that comes to mind is a group of people who are having sex, intercourse. But in, the, in my definition of uh, tantric sessions, it's, it's much vaster than that, okay? I'm not here to judge the different practices, I'm just telling you that there is a wide range of possibilities. So expand your consciousness, expand your mind, get, get rid of the narrow perceptions and don't put labels on things uh, that would be dimin diminishing for, for the practice. So remember that, mono, duo, or poly, or we could also use the word solo, solo, duo, and poly uh, tantric sessions. Lots of possibilities, so much fun.